Post spaces provide a connection between a deck's posts, its vertical columns, and a concrete footing. They help resist download, uplift, and lateral loads. A newly developed type of post space also provides moment capacity or restraint to prevent posts from rotating. There are two main types of post space, post installed bases for existing concrete or cast in place for new concrete. The building code requires a post space to have a one inch standoff for untreated posts to prevent ground moisture from causing rot. However, it's good practice to select a base with a one inch standoff even if the post is treated. As with all building projects, it's critical to use connections that meet the project loads, especially if there are high seismic or wind requirements. When selecting connectors, fasteners, and anchors, it's important to consider the corrosiveness of your environment, as well as the type of treated lumber and metal you're using. Use hardware that meets corrosion resistance needed and always choose like metals. For example, with stainless steel connectors, use stainless steel fasteners. Before installing post bases on existing concrete, first be sure the footing can handle the load. Installation on existing concrete requires an anchor to attach the base to the footing. Titan HD stainless steel screw anchor or threaded rod with set 3G high strength adhesive anchor are both good choices. Post bases like the Outdoor Actions APB, adjustable ABWZ and ABU, and CPTZ concealed post type provide the one inch standoff and use anchors that can be installed into cured concrete. If installing into concrete at the time of the pour, post bases like the PBS or CBSQ column base are ideal. Our project uses the MPBZ Moment Post Base along with the SDS Heavy Duty Connector Screw. The Moment capacity of the MPBZ helps provide lateral stability to the deck framing and eliminates the need for knee bracing at the top of the posts. Those are the basic steps for constructing strong, safe post base connections. But before working on your own deck, be sure to check your local building code or consult an engineer or general contractor. To learn more about other critical deck connections and how to make them stronger, watch the full Simpson Strong Tie Stronger Deck series.